This morning I have to recover the top third of a small birch tree. It's not very heavy, but it's about 50 feet down an embankment with a 250% grade, so I'm going to rig it out of there. Normally I would climb to a high line point like this and uh, rig a pinto rig or a, a tail block as a vectored redirect and put the force back down the tree. This morning instead I'm going to use the rigging whoopee. Here you see the throw bag pulling it in place like a normal uh, ring and ring saver and the rigging line being uh, threaded through the three rings. The other end of the rigging line is going to go uh, get choked off to the log and uh, we'll have our vectored redirect set up. Um, in the prior video we talked a lot about dynamic rigging and working loads but in this case uh, we have a straight pull situation and if you think about those three rings up there you realize that the weak link is the 30 kilonewton small steel arborist ring seeing half the load. So in effect you're working with a 60 kilonewton rigging pulley that compares very favorably to the 36 kilonewton Omniblock and uh, even the Pinto rig at 50 uh, kilonewtons but it's nowhere close to a tail block at two or three or four hundred uh, kilonewtons uh, MBS. Regardless, it's way more than adequate for the task and what I like is I haven't had to uh, suit up to my harness. Uh, I'm working from the ground and uh, now I just tie a knot in the line falling out of the large ring and it'll come back to me and I'm done. Thanks for watching.